Roseville's police chief says he wants to close his jail for good as soon as this month. CBS 13's Steve Large is in the newsroom now with what's spurring the sudden decision, Steve. Well, the Roseville police chief told me today he's going to ask the city council to approve his request to eliminate all jail employees because he has so few still left. These Roseville jail doors are closing for good. We're about at the finish line. The long planned slammer shutdown is suddenly speeding up. Because Roseville Police Chief Daniel Hahn says he's running out of jail employees. We're at a point where we can't keep it open. Employees have been leaving since Hahn announced the eventual closure in line with the opening of a new county jail in Roseville across town. I personally don't think that we need a jail when we have a jail, the county jail, in our city. The once full time city jail has turned part time. Roseville employed 10 officers at full jail staffing. That's down to just four now, including a supervisor making roughly $80,000 a year. Hahn says all of them earn their pay despite the jail's dwindling operating hours. Well, the jail's not closed because um, we want it to be closed. The jail is closed when we don't have the employees available. So I wouldn't say it's a waste of money. Um, the, the jailers serve as jailers when they're able to. A lockup on its last days. The cold concrete benches never built to be welcoming are about to say their final goodbye. In terms of the grand scheme of us having a jail, we agree. Uh, the county has opened a jail in our city and we no longer believe that we need a jail. By the way, of those four remaining employees, two have already given notice, according to Chief Hahn, and he says that it's up to the council now to determine whether or not those remaining leftover two employees will be offered new work within the city. They've been talking about this closure for a while. Okay, sudden is right. Steve, thanks.